I work at I-24 News since 2013, since the channel was established, and I'm the defense correspondent in English since 2018. As the defense correspondent, and also in my previous roles, I was hundreds of times in Sderot and the Gaza border communities when red alert sirens sounded, meaning that rockets are incoming and we all have to run to the shelters. Most of the times, the rockets were intercepted, there were no casualties, no damages, and that was my report. But there was one time in the city of Sderot which made me realize we are all wrong. My colleagues and I ran to the shelter, again, but with us, ran a group of children and their mothers. The children were crying. The mothers were supposed to help them, but they were also crying. That is when I realized that what is the work for me is life for them. That's where I understood that there is damage, even if no building was damaged and no one was physically hurt. They're Israelis, just like us in Tel Aviv, and they deserve to feel the same safety and security that we feel here. Since that morning in Zderot, my whole reporting has changed. No longer, no casualties, no damage, rocket intercepted, and that's it. The damage is ongoing. The damage is mental for those people, for those kids who have now grown into this reality. I think they deserve much more than that from the state of Israel. And I keep saying this in every report I file about rockets being fired to Zderot, even if officially there are no damages and no one was injured.